Okay, and now that the doors are in place, let's go ahead and create the windows. So go ahead and let's use the polyline tool, enter. And we're going to start by drawing out a horizontal line, a total of 150 units. And we're going to go up a total of 1,200. We're going to go over to the side here, another 150, and then down to connect this like so. Once you've done that, kind of move out to the side here. A total, or lack, actually let's go to the top first. And let's do a total of 50 units. And we're going to go across, 150. Okay. I'm going to go up after that, a total of 1,100 units. And then I'm going to go across, a total of 150. Connect that into place. Then I'm going to go back in this direction, a total of 50 units, enter. I'm going to go down, connect it to this point. I'm going to go horizontally, another 50 units. And then I'm going to go back up 50 units as well, or 100, 1,100. So that your final design should look something like that. This is going to be a double pane window. And now that we have that in place, we can just go ahead and put them wherever needed. Let's go ahead and save ourselves one step. We're going to first group this together. So go ahead, select it, and type in group, enter, and it's going to combine it all into one single object. Uh, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and copy it, enter, select that, put that one over here. And then we're going to go ahead and rotate Rotate, enter this object such that it is facing the other direction. Okay, and now it's just a matter of putting these in place. So using the copy command, we can go ahead, select these, and kind of just snap them anywhere where a window is needed. Like so. And I'm going to do the same with the horizontal ones. You know, select it, enter, click on a reference corner, and then that was probably not the best reference corner, but I can put that one down and just use the midpoints. And I did actually adjust this distance, so it's now 1200 as well, so it will fit the window. Okay, let me go ahead and move these two. up there. Okay, and there we go. We've added in the windows. Unless you see a need for these, we can go ahead and delete those from the project. And now we can group everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and select all the windows. Like so. And then over here, where I created my layer properties, I'm going to give these the window color. So I'm going to select that, after which I'm going to go next for the doors. And we never actually group the doors, so this might require a little more clicking. But if you need to click, go ahead and click. Okay, and once everything's selected, go over here and switch that over to the doors layer. And there you go, all the parts to a basic floor plan. Before we do move on though, I do want to point out that if you do want to move the, the windows, and some people do, it's fairly straightforward. You use the move command, select it, and then you just move it up a little. And you usually want it to be about half the distance so it's centered, so it'd be like 75 like that. So select it, you know, and then move it the 75 units and and so I'm actually gonna just go through and take care of these for these we could just select all three since they're facing the same direction and we can move them down 75 units and for that one move that 75 and these final two 
gonna move these 75 as well. So now they're in place a little bit better than they were before. Okay, let's go ahead and label the rooms. To label the rooms, you wanna use the text command. So T-E-X-T, press enter. Uh, you gotta set a starting point. So let's say I'm gonna click there. Then you specif specify a height. I'm gonna go ahead and say 250 units and then a direction. And we're gonna just go in this direction here. So I'm gonna click there. This is gonna be the first bedroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this bedroom one. And then I'm gonna just click away and press escape. Once you've done that one time, just to save yourselves a little bit of time, use the copy command and selecting that, we're just gonna move this over to the other rooms. And it looks like the ortho mode was kind of hindering it, but that's fine. You can just select it and then grab the blue dot and you can kind of move it into place. <laughs> now, chances are you don't want to have five bedrooms bedroom one so if you double click on it you can rename them so like bedroom two this here is going to be the living room over here is the bathroom and finally here is going to be the kitchen delete that and now everything has been labeled we're going to go ahead and color in the walls now and there's a command here called hatch and if you just type in h you'll activate hatch if you press enter and as you can see it allows you to color in objects so at the start of the project i mentioned that the walls had to be white and it's currently white because the layer i'm on is currently a white layer but if you don't want it to be just make sure that you kind of switch your layer so i'm going to go to my walls layer type in h for hatch enter and also feel free to check out the patterns. There's a lot of really cool patterns here that you can use. But for this, I'm just gonna be using a solid color. And I'm gonna select the portions of the wall like that. Now, if you want it to act independently, every time you have to press enter. Otherwise, if I just click on something and then I click on another wall, both these objects are now linked. So just something to keep in mind if you do want to color the walls of your room or of your building differently. If you do notice any any amount of lag that's like perfectly normal, it is kind of a intense portion. Okay, and there must be some kind of a gap over there as well as there. Okay, I'm gonna press enter and reactivate hatch. Just make sure it's not a lag thing, which it was. So I do have two separate portions there like that and one last portion over there enter escape escape so there you go a much nicer much cleaner more professional looking floor okay we're going to continue this in part four i'll see you then peace